everyone, this is Cynthia Thinnis and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to use a metaphor to explain essentialism. My astrology is known as essentialist astrology and I have been discussing essentialism in various philosophical concepts for the last several weeks. Uh, but today I want to use the metaphor of the musical Hamilton to explain essentialism. The musical Hamilton is based on actual events that happened in history, but it is not intended to be an accurate depiction of what actually happened. For example, the, one of the big differences is, is the race of most of the actors. And it was also done in a modern musical style that wasn't even thought of in the time of Alexander Hamilton. And the creator of the musical Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda, specifically stated that Hamilton was a story about then told by people now. Aside from the race of the actors, Angelica Schuyler was already married when she met Alexander Hamilton the first time. So there was never a question of them getting together, like was implied by the song Satisfied. On the other hand, there was a close friendship between them, which involved a flirtation over well-documented correspondence. Now, just pretend we have gone far into the future. For a long time, it was known that the musical Hamilton was not the history, but was a piece of art that was based on historical events. But as we went to the future, the record of the historical events faded away and all we had was the musical. For a long time, people might know that the musical wasn't in fact meant to be the historical events, but after a time, that information got lost as well. In a sense, that is the difference that I described in a much earlier it video about the difference between the philosophy of Plato and the philosophy of Aristotle. Plato believed that the physical world was based on the world of form, but there was a world of form that existed that was uh, different from the world of matter. Aristotle said that the world of matter and the world of form were identical, that it was an identical representation. So back to the story of Hamilton. Now that Hamilton was seen as a historical account, it just started to become dogma. It's there are people who, there may be people who didn't believe it and they were persecuted. And sometimes questions arose. For example, there were certain contradictions. Uh, for example, uh, there's a phrase in the song, My Shot, where Lawrence talks about leading the first black battalion and the musical itself has black actors that may have seemed like a contradiction and people may have questioned that. Well, how can it be that they are talking about a black battalion when there already seems to be? Such questioning might then be discouraged, saying, well, you know, it's doctrine. This is the way it is. You don't, don't think about those questions too much. It's a mystery. We don't know about it. This is the way it is. And this is because there were no real answers to that, because if you are to think that the musical is based on historical fact, these questions they can't be answered and they might even start to be seen as heresy. Now, say a certain time even further in the future, people did an archaeological dig 
and they started to find uh, information, incomplete information. For example, they might uncover evidence of the position of black people at that time in history. Uh, they might find a, a record of the marriage of Angelica Schuyler that clearly happened before she could have met Alexander Hamilton. Or other things may have been dug up, not the complete historical record, but bits and pieces that show that this musical cannot in fact have been historical fact. At this point, this might throw the entire system into confusion and to chaos. People would believe that, well, we didn't know what to believe. Obviously, what we were taught about this musical was false. It could not be historical fact. And some people might say, oh, you know what, this was just a myth or a silly superstition. Some people might double down all the harder, saying that we know this musical is the truth, this is what's been handed down, and this means the archaeological records must be false, they must be faked. And this could stem into arguments and theological debates. But the truth of the matter is, is this, this whole argument is based on a false premise. The musical Hamilton was never meant to be historical fact. It, it's a piece of art. It's based on historical fact, but it is not what actually happened at that time. And it was never meant to replace the study of history. And in essentialist astrology, that is the exact relationship of the solar system to the traditional model of the cosmos that is based on the traditional model of the cosmos. We can get information about the stars and their meanings and the planets and, and their symbolism from studying the traditional model of the cosmos, but the solar system contains no information other than metaphor as to what the traditional model of the cosmos is. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to discuss anything that I said, please use the comment section below. And if you like this video, please press the like button. And if you would like to receive notifications of future videos, please subscribe and ring the bell. Goodbye for now. See you next week.